Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be putting some uh, chicken and veg into the uh, freeze dryer. Here I've got some chicken that uh, I have cooked in uh, like a pasta sauce and uh, some corn and I've got some spinach that uh, I picked from our garden. Now this is the rest of the sauce that uh, I had left over. And over here we've got some, uh, I guess what America calls goulash. Growing up we just called it pasta with some minced meat and some vegetables. So there was no real name for it, but it's called goulash. And um, so these are going to go in and uh, I'll probably come back tomorrow uh, afternoon. These will be ready by. So I'll bring you back then. So the uh, freeze dryer is down to 32 Fahrenheit so I'm to put in my trays and then to press continue. Sorry if I sound croaky guys, I'm, it's very early in the morning here. Um, so I've got all my trays in and what I've done is I've actually checked to make sure that they're not up too high that they hit the heat pad. Now I don't know if you can actually see the heat pad but I think I'm good. I think they're all fine. So these are going to go in. These will be really nice. I hope to make some MREs with that, with these, so meal's ready to eat. And now we'll press continue. So it goes into a freezing mode. And like I said before, I'll bring you back once these are all done. I've just taken them all out of the freeze dryer. These went for about 30 hours. Now I can see that uh, they have dried. The chicken's very dry. The popcorn. They look lovely. Really, really do. And uh, I'm going to check the um, sauce. This is just the plain sauce. And this was the uh, pasta with the vegetables. And that seems to be dry as well. So if you find any cold spots, guys, they have to go back in for extra time. But that's lovely and dry. So we're going to be uh, packaging these up into the Harvest Right bags. And uh, I'll bring you back and show you when I'm about to seal them. So I've got four bags full with the, the freeze-dried food. And uh, I've made some MREs. So that stands for Meals Ready to Eat. And as you can see, they're very generous portions. So now I will pop in a um, oxygen absorber and seal them up. So the bags are sealed. And what I wanted to show everyone, that when you seal your bags, I've done it twice here, you've got to make sure that there's no creases. Because if there is, the air's going to get in and it will spoil your food. What I also do, I lay it down flat on a board. I get my iron and that's on dry, you don't want any steam and I just slide it across there and do a final seal and I have found that every bag that I have done this with I have all sealed beautifully. That's just an extra precaution okay. Some people use the hair straightener, I don't have one <laughs> so I use my iron so if you can see that so all sealed and uh, I got four bags, so there's my bags, very happy with the outcome. Hope that helps, thanks for watching.